Shout out to Mary Elizabeth on YouTube, Mary Elise here on YouTube, for the eyeshadow inspiration. On her recent video, she rocked this look and I was like, inspired. channel for today's video I have dear no clue what to do I asked you guys on Instagram for questions so I could answer them however no one asked any questions so I had to have a plan B and I normally do not have plan B's but for my plan B I decided to do something um, in the get to know me area kind of tag so I've done a video like this before, it was one of my first videos here on YouTube, but let's just say the quality was terrible. Like lighting was bad, quality terrible, you could barely even see my nose, so I decided to just, you know, get back on here and, ch and you know, like talk a little bit more about myself. Some things have changed since that video, so I think it's... I think it's a pretty good video to do. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I am running out of ideas. It's May. If you guys have any video ideas, please leave them down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, so to start off, my name is Sonia Net. That's what, that's where Snowan TV came from. So yeah, I have my first name and my middle name. As I mentioned in my other video, my friends call me Sonia and my family calls me Annette. So sometimes when I meet new people, it's kind of hard to try to figure out what name to give them particularly because I'm just like, you're not my friend yet, you're a stranger, but if you're with my family, I'm, they're going to call me a net and if I tell you my name is Sonia, you're going to be super confused. So it's always a big debacle as to what name I should introduce myself as, but usually I always go with Sonia because that's usually what strangers call me and friends but family it's more net so but also something random about me is that if either or calls me by the separate name like if my friends call me Annette and if my family calls me Sonia it feels really really weird I don't like it another thing that changed since that last video I said that my favorite food was steak what the heck was I thinking pizza is my favorite food all the way best food out there. It's cheesy, it's delicious, it's greasy in the best way possible. My favorite kind of pizza is just plain old pepperoni. That's my thing. That's the thing I love. I can eat it 24-7 to a certain extent, but goodness gracious, pizza is the best food out there. Another thing about me is that I am a die-hard Cowboys fan. I love football. You will find me on Sunday night football or just Sunday in general on the couch after church of course on the couch watching TV like a guy pretty much because I if my mom wants to go to the mall nope I'm sorry I am watching the Cowboys play I will not go to the mall with you the only days I ever get a break is during bye week because there I don't really care who's playing so if it's bye week then I'll go to the store but other than that I am sitting down on my couch watching TV, you, you you best believe I am screaming at the TV, can they hear me? No. Do my parents like it? No. But do I still do it? Yes. I started my YouTube channel just for fun pretty much. I didn't have any motivation as to uh, getting a job out of it. I thought it was just super interesting when I would see YouTubers put their life out there and just sit down on a cam- like sit down in front of a camera and film their entire life or just talk to a camera. And I thought it was super fun. My first YouTube channel actually is not this one. I actually started another one. If you guys can find it, kudos to you. I am not going to tell you how to find it because they, those videos are 100% embarrassing. Uh, but those videos are just me and one of my old friends dancing to a mix of different songs very awkwardly. There's a, another video where we did a skit of some sort. And then other videos that are on their uh, projects for college. So I added it in that on that channel because literally it just became my whatever channel. But if you do find those those videos, please don't put them in the comments. Please don't let anybody find them. Thanks. Another thing about me, I still love blue 
And in that past video, I said that I hate, hated pink. And while that still holds true, I've slowly but surely leaned into like the rose gold kind of thing. I am loving like the rose gold and it's kind of like a pink, I guess you could say this. But uh, I just, before I wouldn't, have been, I wouldn't have been able to like even like this kind of pink, but rose gold, I have a notebook too. Um, yeah, I have a notebook that's also in the same color. Just rose gold is my jam right now. So if people had to ask me what my favorite color is, it would be rose gold. However, I still love blue. That's still my favorite color. It will remain my favorite color for dear life. My room was painted blue for goodness sakes. So blue is still my favorite color, but I've started, Ooh, I'm reflecting. But um, I have a special place in my heart for rose gold. Um, right now I am currently 23 years old. I think the last time I did math, yes, I am 23 years old. Uh, apparently, to according to my elementary kiddos, I look like a middle schooler, and that's literally the youngest I've ever been told. I've been told I look like a 12 year old, which kind of freaks me out because now that means that 12 year olds look like 20 year olds, which is kind of crazy, kind of scary, and all of that jazz. But yeah, so I look like a 12 year old, but I'm actually 23. May my kiddos not find this because I do not want them to find out how old I am. Doesn't matter. They still think I'm 12. They think I should still be in high school or in middle school or barely in college. But no, I'm, I'm, I graduated. I graduated college with the 4.0 GPA, which I'm super proud of. So I don't care if people think this is bragging. Bragging. I literally busted my butt for that 4.0 GPA. I don't know why I keep doing this, but that's it's just a thing. I got a 4.0, I'm super happy, I worked so hard for that, I cried so much for that, I lost a lot of weight because of that, but it was one of the greatest accomplishments I could have done in college, besides being able to sleep inside my car. <laughs> Another random fact about me is um, I can lick my elbow, I said that in my other vlog, I didn't show it there, but just for you guys, just for this, because this is a new video. Just once, let's just let's see if I can try to do this. Bless my soul. Wow. Like, the color difference. I am so... Tan? Yeah. There. Did that count? Did that count? Is someone gonna be in the comments like, you cannot lick your elbow, you liar. Another thing. Disneyland. Disney. My thing. My favorite thing. I love it. When I went back to Disneyland, I was like, this is going to be the true test whether or not I want to buy an annual pass next year. Guess who's going to buy an annual pass next year? Me, because that was the best experience I've ever had. I am a child at heart and that place is amazing. It's expensive. It's expensive, but it's the best place ever. I spent most of my money there on souvenirs and on food, but I would do it again and again and again. And I want to go during like Christmas, and Halloween. So that's like my plan for hopefully next year. So I'm gonna start saving up so I can buy the dumb manual pass that just went up like $100. But I'm excited, I wanna go do that and yeah. Uh, another thing, I live in Texas. I'm a Texas girl, yay. Born and raised and I love it. I'm, I, I am a proud Texan. Another thing is I love makeup. I love to play with makeup. However, in the mornings at work, I don't give a dang. I, 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 no. I prefer sleep over getting ready in the mornings. In the mornings, literally, I put my hair in a bun or I leave it in its natural state-ish. This is not somewhat in its natural state, but I straighten my bangs, maybe put it up in a bun. Maybe it's somewhat attempt to try. But all I put on for work is foundation, my eyebrows, because if I don't put on my eyebrows, I will scare children to death and I will scare them into not wanting to come back to school. So I make sure to put that on and I put some mascara and maybe a little bit of lip, glo lip gloss and that's it. I don't even contour, I don't put blush, I don't put eyeliner, I don't do the whole shebang, I don't do the nine yards I, that like I look like right now. Cause I don't care. I would rather, I would much rather sleep in the, those 30 minutes that I was gonna put into putting foundation and trying with my hair into beauty sleep because I need it 
so bad. I, I'm in love with Fixer Upper. I love Waco, Texas. If I could move somewhere, it would be Waco, Texas. People think I'm crazy, but that is like my number one place that I would love to move. I've actually even looked at school districts over there, contemplating moving over there. However, at this exact moment in my life, I'm not sure if I would be able to do such a big move. But if it could happen in the future, I would definitely move over there. But I love Fixer Upper. I love those like style of homes. And I love brick painted white. I don't know. That's just something random about me. I'm more of a salty girl compared to a sweet girl. I don't really like sweets. However, my favorite candy is sour gummy worms. So I get that that's more of a sour instead of a sweet. But those are my favorite thing, candies. But if I could, I'm, I, I'm always craving popcorn or chips. I'm never really craving ice cream or cookies. I don't really like cookies as much unless they're oatmeal. Like recently baked oatmeal raisin cookies. If not, then I don't really care. I'm not really much of a like give me. But yeah, that's, that's, that's something. What else? What else? What else? Uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, I recently graduated college about a year ago and right now I am a long-term sub at a school and I am loving it. I am subbing for a fourth grade class for a whole nine weeks so pretty much um, somewhat the teacher because I am in charge of lesson plans, I'm in charge of grading, I'm in charge of classroom management, I'm in charge of parents and all that jazz so so far I am loving it. Yes it comes with its hard days honestly which job does not but overall I'm in love with it I love what I do I love my kids they're amazing and I have learned that I do want to stay in the upper grades I don't think I could do kinder and first please no please don't put me back there please don't I mean if I have to then I guess I'll like manage but please don't please don't put me back there please don't please 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 another thing this is my natural hair colors a lot of people think it's black however I'd like to say that it's dark 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 brown as well as my eyes are dark dark they're dark dark brown I blame my mother for my hair color and my eyes because my dad actually has light brown eyes not super light to the point where you're like dang but no but but if you if he's in the sun or just anywhere where it's like a lit room you can actually tell that my dad has brown eyes compared to my brother me my mom we it looks like we have black eyes like I remember one person came up to me and they're like my goodness that's so awesome you have black eyes and I was like girl say what I've also currently been really into watching Hulu rather than Netflix and that's usually not me but then again I just recently got Hulu so I've been Hulu is the best thing in the world because if I miss a show, I can watch it the very next day. And this video is not sponsored whatsoever, but it's the best thing. And I've been currently using Hulu to watch like This Is Us or what else? What other video? Um, show Grey's Anatomy, Dancing with the Stars, like best thing, best invention in the world. One of my favorite movies is Star Wars. I seriously just got into that movie. I mean, I'm a Jurassic Park fan 100%, but Star Wars is amazing. I watched the, all six movies, the originals, in two weeks. Uh, and then I just, from there, I just continually kept watching the new movies that are coming out, and I am sold. I love them. I can't wait for Solo. So, Star Wars. Great thing. Great, great movie. I'm really terrible in mathematics in my head. I know that's just random, but I'm a teacher, so I should probably know math a little bit better than I do. But hey, we're all human. I hate bees, I hate cockroaches, I hate snakes. Anything that flies. Oh, I hate flies, I hate flies. Uh, just hate, don't like them, I just don't really like them at all. I love dogs, dogs are my favorite, those are my favorite animal in the world. My puppy is my favorite, he's not even a puppy, he's 12 years old, 13 probably, I forget. But I love my little doggy. And I realized that either I'm gonna get a golden doodle or I'm gonna get a poodle. That's it. Like, I'm gonna stick in that range. My dream car is a Camaro. Uh, slowly starting to change a little bit, but usually from the moment I saw Transformers, the Camaro has been my dream car and I wanted it in blue. But then my cousin went and got the exact same car that I wanted. So, cousin, if you're watching this, why? 
I've also wanted to go to Coachella. My favorite thing to do, or the, my, the thing that I want to do for the rest of my life is to travel. When I've gone to New York, to California, um, different parts of Texas, I am in love. I love seeing new places, seeing new things, and just stuff. I love it. I'm excited to do that more, but I need more money for that. So when that comes, I will be traveling nonstop. My destination place is to go to Barcelona, like Spain overall, but that's the dream. That is the dream. I am currently starving. I have not eaten anything since 12 o'clock noon. And it is currently 6 o'clock. It's been 6 hours and I'm starving. I hate heights. One of my I one of my fears is heights. I'm also claustrophobic, but heights is in there. However, I've been able to concrete a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. But overall heights don't don't put me next to a, uh, anything that's tall. I don't like roller coasters. Get me out of there. I'm not, I will never go to Knott's, Knott's Berry Farm or Six Flags. I mean, I've gone there once, but because it was a school trip. But personally, myself, will I go there and pay the money? No, because <laughs> no, I do not like that. Um, I don't like scary movies. Hate them. Despise them. Ma, the person that literally haunted my dreams when I was a little girl was Chucky. Goodness gracious, I hate that doll. My favorite holiday is Christmas, and then at, right after is the 4th of July, Independence Day, because I love to go all out for that holiday. I go all red, white, and blue. But before that is Christmas, and then the 4th of July, just if anybody was wondering. I recently changed to an iPhone. I've always been an Android girl, but just recently transferred into, into not into an iPhone. And not, I did not become an iPhone, but I just got an iPhone, and so far, so good. I think that's it guys, I don't have nothing, I don't, I can't think of anything else to update you guys on about me. Uh, I'm going to dedicate hopefully another different video for a Q&A because I'm running out of battery and I do not have enough time to wait for the questions that are finally coming in, thank you. But yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this different rendition of my life. It's a different video, a little bit similar to my first one, however it's a lot better lighting, a lot better quality, and some of, some certain things have changed. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, remember to give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me a lot. Also comment down below, what is your favorite color? Is it is it blue or is it rose gold? I'd like to know. Um, also if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe down below and click that notification bell so that you guys are notified of when I upload my next video. I really hope everybody has a great weekend, great day. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!